Hey guys, as you can see, I am here in gorgeous Copenhagen. And of course, I'm gonna bring you a vegan guide. This time though, I wanted to do it a little bit differently. I wanted to do it vlog style completely. So I will be there with you each and every meal. Hey guys, so I'm off to my first stop and it's uh, it's actually an ice cream because when I asked you all on YouTube, nearly everybody recommended this vegan ice cream place. So I'm literally right off the plane. I didn't uh, have lunch yet, but I'm going to go and get some ice cream first. So you guys definitely did not disappoint. Um, when I was outside, I thought that it was like some Asian restaurant or something because the, the logo is a panda. And then when I came in, there were, basically the concept is just that um, it's all coconut uh, ice cream based, but there's a ton of different flavors and um, there's like different bowls. They also do warm bowls as well, but this is the Sneaky Biz. I am a big fan of peanut butter so you guys will definitely uh should know that about me and this is really really good it's really really creamy For breakfast and brunch this morning, I decided to go to 42 Raw, which is a recommendation from a lot of you guys as well. Everything is raw, so it doesn't go, uh, it doesn't cook above 42 degrees Celsius, which is right around 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So this morning, I got the brunch set. So there's um, pancake, there's um, sweet potato fries, and toast, and, and hummus, and a little bit of yogurt. The really cool thing is, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is a beetroot latte, which I've never had before. Like they have the matcha, they have the turmeric, but this is so gorgeous and it's so red. So first off is the sweet potato fries, which are, I don't know, like baked and maybe steamed. So it's still really clean tasting. This tarragon aioli is um, super, super yummy. I like any type of aioli. The bread I liked as well. Um, it's a little bit cakey in texture. It's almost like a little bit eggy as well but i really like like all of the nuts and the seeds in it because I'm, I'm just that type of a person so it goes really well with the the guacamole and a little bit of the hummus So I don't know if you guys just did that walk with me. There is actually a ton of food here. At first, I only saw about like four to five and I was really worried, but as you walk, there's easily like 30 stalls here and there's like little like crates and shipping containers also in the back that hides even more restaurants um, the only thing is I'm still on the lookout for some vegan food I did see a lot of like Indian um, I saw a lot of burgers I also saw a lot of seafood as well so if you guys are interested in that that is certainly available and um, of course it all overlooks the the river so you get a really nice view there's plenty of seating there's plenty of tables and then there's one McKellar brewery I in the back so it's kind of like an industrial kind of like abandoned warehouse space but like with a lot of like shipping containers um, a very a very cool feel so I'm gonna go and try to find some vegan food right now Salut à 
aventura para de nuevo decirle que la quiero conquistarme la derecho y poderla regresar so I actually did end up finding some vegan food um, I found this chart all the way kind of in the back um, behind all of these uh, shipping containers and it listed like the vegan and vegetarian, the Mexican, the Asian and whatever. Um, they listed four vegan and vegetarian places but what I'll say is that there were some um, actually like some restaurants with some vegetarian options so I'm sure that you could just say like no cheese or no butter. I ended up getting some of these blue corn tortillas and they're so gorgeous. Uh, it kind of looks gray as well but they have some pumpkin flowers in them some pumpkin seeds some mushrooms and there's also samosas there's a place that does like a vegan polenta as well so I do think it's one of those places where you're going to have to shop around you're gonna have to look around and kind of ask around um, whether they do have uh, vegan or vegetarian options So guys, I am I'm back at the apartment. I'm almost ready to leave for the first kind of like fancier restaurant called Vast. And um, it's actually really cool because when you look at all of the kind of like the new Nordic cuisines and like the, all of the really cool restaurants here, they're all actually super, super expensive. And Vast is um, one of those where I found it to be super affordable. It's probably going to be one third of the price of what you see for most of the foods that might be you know similar and it is located in a greenhouse and I thought that I'd do kind of a little intro for it now just because by the time I get there I know that the sun is going to be down it's going to be really dark and you guys might not see anything so um, yeah, I'm really excited for dinner. Okay, so I'm here at Seoul, which is um, an entirely plant-based restaurant, and I'm here for brunch. But they also do amazing lunches and dinners as well, like I saw ramen on the menu, I saw burgers on the menu, and they all look super amazing. I ended up actually getting um, the brunch deluxe, and then I wanted to try one of their acai bowls, which I have actually never ordered before. And uh, the acai bowl is actually pretty huge. It almost looks like a gigantic smoothie on like granola, on bananas, on berries, on a bunch of things. I got this mug of chai. It comes in this gorgeous like pottery mug and it's just really, really pretty.
so I found this place called Road in, um, in the market and originally I didn't really plan on eating here but this place is actually all over uh, Copenhagen and the place started in 2011 really as a spot to just make porridge, to make porridge and show how good uh, everything is and for breakfast they'll have things like um, it, it could be like oatmeal and porridge with peanut butter with nuts with granola with a ton of fruits so it's a little bit like like a yogurt place because you can pick and choose your toppings and then for lunch and like maybe like later on in the day there's stuff like chicken congee as a vegan option there's also this kind of like a Thai lemon grassy uh, doll that they mix with some yogurt sauce and chilies and tomatoes and also coriander. It's actually a pretty big bowl. There's like a small size and a large size, but it's very comforting and it's very, very filling. Okay, so I'm at Simple Raw. It's actually a really pretty little square that it's situated in and they have a fair amount of choices here. So uh, you can do your typical brunch because it's kind of in the morning. There's like toast, there's acai bowls, yada yada. There's also sushi as well here. Uh, there's different burgers, which I think I'm going to be trying um, for this. And then there's like desserts and also they have these like worldly bowls. So they have like a cream bowl and um, a Middle Eastern bowl and they all look super super delicious so I'm thinking about which ones to choose really it's it's all raw and it's vegan it says says the sign right there So I am waiting for the bus to go to dinner and um, this is actually going to be one of those really uh, semi-fancy dinners and it's called Kokieriet and I probably am not pronouncing it correctly but um, the reason that I'm choosing this restaurant is actually because it was one of the only ones that was like, you know, like the Nordic fancy types with an actual vegan menu and I wrote them just in case just to make sure that yes, can you do vegan? Yes, yada yada. Um, and they could. Being how expensive some of these meals are, um, sometimes I, I definitely want to make sure that they are good at preparing vegan food or that they have a vegan menu to make it a little bit more um, worthwhile. Otherwise, 
you know, sometimes you could be wasting a lot of money and you don't get necessarily the same quality as um, they would serve to, you know, an omnivore uh, type menu. Okay, so I just arrived at Kokariot and it started down pouring outside, so I ran uh, to the restaurant. But what's super cool is outside, you can actually see the kitchen. So um, the windows kind of show um, the inside of the kitchen. I think our, our waiter said that we would start off with some just complimentary bites. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just give you guys some footage of each of the foods because I don't really want to interrupt a fancy meal like that. And then afterwards, after I'm all done with everything, I will kind of give you guys some of my favorites. And I'll also like put some descriptions down underneath which I never remember because they're always so, so detailed.